Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about all the dang on controversy, honey, with The View. Okay, now we were talking about this on the discord when it first broke and a lot of us was giving this situation the side eye. So if you guys do not know, um, last week in the middle of a live show, all of a sudden two of the co-hosts on The View were pulled on live television. Supposedly they took a C-19 test and it came back positive. And um, so they had to run up on stage and, you know, halt the show and tell them, you know, they had to leave right at that moment. So a lot of people were shocked. Some people were scared. You know, it was Sonny and it was Anna Navarro. And what was very interesting to us, okay, why we were side-eyeing the whole thing is the fact that um, Vice President Kamala Harris was supposed to be on the stage talking to them. It was supposed to be an hour-long interview. And because of this so-called emergency, quote unquote, the interview gets up, the interview ends up being cut down to 10 minutes. So my tin has started tingling and damn near everybody else's tin has started tingling. And we're like, well, how convenient all this stuff is going on at the border, especially with the Haitians. And now all of a sudden they're trying to basically give Kamala an out to not, you know, be forced to answer those questions. And so, of course, the mainstream media was talking about this. And a lot of people were just like, you know, this is really weird. Well, now today it comes out that both of these women, Anna Navarro and Sunny, came back with false positives. So you mean to tell me this past Friday, they were both positive, even though that they're both fully vaccinated. They get tested all the time. They just happened to do another random rapid test and it came back positive. And now come Monday morning, they're saying that, oh, those were false positives. But if you know anything about how this whole testing thing works, they say that false positives are very rare. Okay, y'all the ones always screaming about science. That's what science says. So I find it very interesting that not one but two people on the same show happen to both have false positive tests. And now they're back on the show Monday morning like nothing's happened. So a lot of folks are giving this to side eye. Anna Navarro also talked to Anderson Cooper about it. I mean, the whole situation was just crazy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I need uh, the two of you to step off for a second. Okay. Anna and and uh, and, and we're going to bring Sunday you back later. Have to okay. leave. Yeah. Yes. And we'll tell you why. More information later. It's a tease. We'll so tell you why in a couple of minutes. So shall I introduce the vice president? Yes. Okay. So vice president. No. no. Nope. Okay. Shall we dance? Let's do a tap dance. Sunny Hostin and Anna Navarro were asked to leave their seats on The View Friday live on air. Just before Vice President Kamala Harris was set to make an appearance on the daytime talk show. Since this is going to be a major news story any minute now, yeah. what happened is that uh, Sunny and Anna both apparently tested positive for COVID. No matter how hard we try, uh, these things happen. They probably have a breakthrough case and they'll be okay, I'm sure, because they're both vaccinated up the wazoo. You know, a lot yeah. of vaccines. The vice president did end up appearing on the morning show, but virtually instead of in person. We did everything we could to make sure that you were safe because we value you so much. During her appearance, Kamala addressed Sonny and Anna's breakthrough cases of COVID-19. Sonny and Anna are strong women, and I know they're fine, but it really also does speak to the fact that they're vaccinated and vaccines really make all the difference, because otherwise yes. we would be concerned about hospitalization. View co-host Sonny Hostin and guest host Anna Navarro have now tested negative for COVID twice. One was a rapid test, the other a PCR. Sources say the two hosts are now awaiting the results of a second PCR test. Hostin and Navarro, both whom are fully vaccinated, were told to leave the set on live TV this morning just before an interview with Vice President Harris. And just can you walk us through what happened? Uh, I'm feeling great. First thing I want to do, Anderson, is say thank you to all the well-wishers. There's been so many people on social media wishing us uh, well and we're, we're doing great. I also want to thank the vice president's office, Kamala uh, Harris herself, uh, her team, Simone Sanders, Tina Flournoy. I want to thank the Secret Service. They were all great. And, you know, and, and the team at The View. It takes so much work to do an interview like this. And it's something that we were excited about. We were prepared to ask some tough questions. We were uh, very proud to have the vice president come 
on the view and, and then all of a sudden it turned into like an episode of curb your enthusiasm it was just so but, but how often are Look, you tested uh, how often are you tested for live tv uh I, i'm tested weekly okay i'm tested every t every every time you know i'm i co-host a couple of times uh, a couple of days a week and i usually get tested before i come into the building so, so, so we are all tested weekly there's a lot of measures taken at the view right. there's e you know we're we're we're, we're sent to the back uh, to the backstage uh the vice president was in a separate room we had had okay. no contact with her during the entire day right. and and so they're trying to figure out what is the safe way to conduct this interview and how do we do this right. and i've got to say her team rolled with it uh you know it was crazy yeah. she ended up doing the the uh, the interview from that room right. via remote yeah, with ear uh, in her ears while we were locked up in our dressing rooms <laughs> waiting real. for the test results that okay. we took so we took all right so you guys just watch those clips and the thing that's interesting to me is that isn't it funny that those were the two that were rushed out first of all like i've always said if you are vaccinated and you know you're so protected then you know, like, what is all the chaos for? Isn't that the point of the vaccine? Remember, if you happen to get it, you're less likely to die. You're less likely to be sick. That's what, you know, they keep spewing. So why was all this rush? I mean, they was running around like chickens with a head cut off, like everybody on stage was unvaccinated and was about to end up in the ICU on a respirator. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, okay, this is pretty dramatic. And another thing is, um, why only those two were escorted off? If you guys are that, you know, nervous and they're all that close to each other, how come, you know, Joy and the other woman, how come she wasn't escorted off? I mean, hell, why wasn't the whole production just shut down, you know, for quote unquote, the safety of the vice president? But now, as today has come about, you know, we've gone back and we've done some research and it seems very interesting that Sonny was ushered out. And of course, they didn't want to usher her out by herself. As we know, Anna Navarro, she keeps her foot on a lot of politicians' necks. And she's going to ask, you know, a lot of strong questions. But I believe the real reason why these two women came back with a false positive is because Sonny Holston has been keeping her foot on the necks of what was going on on the border because her husband is Haitian. And she did a really great breakdown about the Haitian situation and how a lot of the Haitians are mistreated and how they're making room for the Afghans, but then acting funny towards the Haitians. And she's been speaking very openly about this. So y'all go ahead and check out this clip. The reason that we're not seeing more help, if I'm going to be frank about it, is because they're Haitian. Um, I think right. that is the history. Explain, please. To well, we saw it, um, and you and I talked about this, mm -hmm. Whoopi. We saw it when it, it first came to the demonizing of Haitians when it came to the AIDS crisis, right? And then we saw it continuing. It really began with the um, raping and, um, you know, pilfering of France by Haiti and the punishment of Haiti for becoming the first black free nation. Uh, in our hemisphere. And I think um, that U.S. policy towards Haiti has always been uh, corrupt. And um, it doesn't have to be that way because we know that the United States can do it. There is a way to do it. There's just no will to do it because the United States and the White House has promised to bring 95,000 Afghans here. And I'm not saying they shouldn't be brought here because they should be. Right. Yeah. That is the promise of yeah. this country. But if you can bring 95,000 Afghans here, then why are you sending 86 Haitians back on an airplane yeah. to a country that has been devastated? Yeah. So it's not about whether or not there's a way. It's not about that there's a pandemic. Because, but this policy started with the Trump administration. It's called Title 42. And the Trump administration decided to ban uh, migrants from refugees from coming. So when people say, well, get in line there is no line because of the trump administration and there has never been a line for haitians and i take this personally because my husband is haitian and i have been to haiti many many times and it is a beautiful beautiful country yeah. with a rich culture and a, a beautiful people and they should not be treated like this and enough is enough yeah. All right, so you guys just heard what Sonny had to say, and that sister was definitely, you know what I'm saying, going in and saying some real stuff. You know, this whole situation to me just makes no sense. That's why I always say with the media that I refuse to get emotionally invested. Most of the people who I know who personally work on set, um, who may not be vaccinated, 
Um, and so they're willing to take a, a C-19 test, you know, every day, every other day, however it works. Usually when you take those tests before, you know, you're vaccinated, they usually make people take those tests 24 hours in advance. So that way there's enough time for them to know if that person will make it to set, if we need to replace them, if we need to go get somebody else, if that test comes back positive, okay? Now, I understand them wanting to do a quote unquote double test to be sure because Kamala Harris is the, you know, vice president because she's very high up there. So, you know, God forbid she gets sick from people from The View. So I understand them giving them a second test, but usually call time, especially for shows like that, is super early. I mean, anywhere from hell, four in the morning till six in the morning, call time. That means you're coming in, you're getting dressed, you're sitting in hair and makeup, all that stuff really, really early. So you mean to tell me they couldn't have gave them that test around six, seven o'clock in the morning because the way they were acting, it seemed like they just got the test, not even five minutes before they sat down, you know, for them to be pulled like that. And for just all the dramatics and the theatrics to me was bullshit because what ended up happening is that once Kamala was there, there were no real questions asked. You know, it's very light questions. You know, so much time was wasted. And the main thing that was on everybody's mind was Anna and Sonny being pulled off to the side. And again, if we're following the so-called science that some people like to keep, you know, throwing out there, the science, you don't understand the science. Okay. So the science says that if you come back with a positive C-19 test per contact tracing, okay, via the scientist, Everybody who's been around you needs to quarantine, okay? So if somebody at my child's school gets sick, guess what? Anybody in that classroom who was around that person, they then have to leave the school. They then have to go quarantine or go get tested and not come back until they have a negative result. So I'm very curious as to why these four were on set together, fairly closely talking and everything else. But like I said before, only those two who we know would have asked the hard, wild questions were, you know, escorted off on live television, but the other two were left there. Because per the science, everything should have been shut down. We've seen whole schools get shut down because maybe two or three kids have it. So now they got to shut down the whole kindergarten class and the whole first grade class. But for this, it was the show goes on, you know, in the midst of all the chaos. So then for them to come back today and it's like, oh, you know, Friday was just a fluke. It was just, you know, two false positives. Everything's back to normal. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, sir. In case you missed, uh, missed it, Friday's show took an unexpected turn when Anna and Sonny's COVID test came back positive while we were on the air. Live TV, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we want to thank Vice President Harris and her incredible team for working with us to make sure everyone was safe and for still doing an interview with us under extraordinary <clears throat> circumstances. We never came into contact with the Vice President, nothing, and we followed all protocols and precautions to ensure her safety. Uh, since that show ended, however, this is the update. We were all given numerous, numerous COVID tests. <laughs> I mean, it's so I many. My, my nostrils are so sensitive. <laughs> it's like up your nose with a rubber hose. Yeah. <laughs> Throughout the weekend, this was happening too. And I am thrilled to report that Sonny and Anna's Friday results turned out to be false positives and everyone is safe, <laughs> healthy, and COVID free. Okay, no one's got it. It was a mistake of some sort. So Brian, where is he? I'm here. You had a special outfit on that day for the vice president and everything? I burned it. I burned, burned it when I went home that day. It. Yeah. How are you holding up now? Uh, no, uh, I'm fine. It was just an unbelievable set of circumstances. And we found out moments before we came back on the air. And in that moment, all I could think of was that we had to keep the host safe and we had to keep the vice president mm -hmm. safe. She could not walk out no matter what. And that led to some really awkward television that I'd like to have back if I could. Um, but I, I really want to acknowledge and apologize to, to Sonny and Anna because in the midst of all this chaos, they were put in this, uh, this position where they had this information put out on television. And then to make it even worse, it turned out not to be true. Uh, later on, and uh, well, that's better if it was, true, but not that it was. Yeah, it was that there was yeah. false positive. That it was false. Yeah. Yes, that it was false yeah. positive. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was unfortunate that mistakes were made, but I can confidently say that we have very vigorous safety <coughs> protocols. That everyone is regularly tested, 
And I'm just so relieved that you guys are healthy, that everyone is healthy, and nobody was ever in danger. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's right. We see through the BS. That was not a fluke. That was a well-planned out event, and I'm not feeling it. And I feel like if they would have just let it play out how it should have played out, Sonny would have asked some really, really poignant questions concerning everything that's going on at the border. And Anna Navarro, being that, you know, she does a lot of things in the political world, I believe that she would have also held Kamala's feet to the fire because that's one thing people have been saying for like the past few weeks. Where's Kamala Harris? Where is she? We haven't heard from her. How come she hasn't said anything? Where is she at? She's not even at these press conferences half the time with Joe Biden. And so for her to now show up on The View and then all this hoopla happens, Chad, I wasn't buying it when I saw it Friday. And now that more information has come out, our thoughts and our suspicions was right from day one discord. But anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video, huh? Let me know y'all's thoughts on this whole situation. Are y'all feeling this? Are y'all buying what they're selling? You know, now they're claiming it just happened to be two false positives and they're okay. And, you know, everything is business as usual. But I always tell y'all, a lot of the mainstream media is nothing but agents of chaos. And at this point, they're just as bad as some of these blogs. The same way these blogs, you know, spin stories and lie and do all types of foolishness to get a viral moment, to get clicks and views. I'm starting to see that more and more with the mainstream as well. So. I just think it's really unfortunate. I think that it had been good to hear from Kamala and it had been good for them to ask her real questions so we can get her real opinions. Like we want to know what Kamala thinks. She's the vice president. She's a woman of color. How is this affecting her? What are the plans? And for all of this hoopla to happen, it was just trash. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Make sure you share the video. And last but not least, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Hell, if you are subscribed, check your subscription subscription honey because you know they love to unsubscribe folks from my channel okay so make sure you're still subscribed and once again thanks for the support and thanks for tuning in talk to y'all later deuces <laughs>